there, today we are diving deep into a topic that's surrounded by misconceptions and myths of fibromyalgia. Whether you are here to learn or find some comfort or discover the ways to manage your condition, this video is going to show you some truth that might just blow your mind. So let's debunk seven most common myths about fibromyalgia one by one, shall we? I'm Adipti Patel, I'm a founder of Therapeutic Pain Relief Programs that combines a nervous system retraining and a functional mobility flow. So you can reclaim your pain-free active life without any side effects or risk. Myth number one, this is a big one. Fibromyalgia isn't real, the most harmful myth. There are quite a few people believe that this is not a real medical condition and this misconception leads to lack of understanding and empathy for those who suffer from it. In reality, the fibromyalgia is recognized by major medical institutions, including World Health Organization. So the verdict, fibromyalgia is very much real. Moving to myth number two, fibromyalgia is all in your head. Many people mistakenly believe that fibromyalgia symptoms are purely psychological. While stress and emotional health can impact your symptoms, but fibromyalgia is a physical condition that involves abnormal pain processing that can have a variety of physical manifestations. This condition brings a cocktail of symptoms like a fatigue, memory issues, and irritable bowel syndrome, eczema, carpal tunnel syndrome, while might not see in a routine scans or a blood test. The evidence is there, hidden in a body's chemistry, immunity, and a brain activity. Next myth number three, a lifetime of suffering is guaranteed with fibromyalgia. It sounds like a life sentence, doesn't it? But it doesn't have to be. With the right management strategies, including low impact exercises, stress reductions, pain neuroscience, cognitive therapy, there is a whole world of relief out there. It's about more than just medications. It's about lifetime changes that brings you relief, make life livable and more productive. Well, now let's tackle the fourth myth, only women gets fibromyalgia. While fibromyalgia is more common in women, men and men do suffer from it as well. The gender disparity in diagnosis may be partially due to the social and the cultural factors that influence how men and women report their symptoms and they seek their treatments. Myth number five, fibromyalgia equals chronic fatigue syndrome. Although fibromyalgia and a chronic fatigue syndrome share some similarities such as a pain and fatigue, there are distinct uh, these are distinct conditions. Each has its own sets of diagnostic criteria and the treatment approaches. Myth number six, prescriptions meds are only relief. If you thought fibromyalgia management is all about popping pills, nope. There is a whole arsenal of non-medical strategies that can bring a significant relief from yoga to tai chi, medica meditations, nutrition, primarily the power of self-management. And finally, myth number seven, health insurance will cover everything you need for fibromyalgia care. If only it were that simple. The truth is all treatments required by fibromyalgias are not covered by the insurance like uh, water aerobics, yoga, tai chi, nutrition, and not believed. By, these are also not believed by the healthcare sectors. And navigating health coverage can be complex, especially for fibromyalgia and other chronic illnesses because then all the treatments are not covered by them. But here's the good news. There is a hope and help for fibromyalgia. So don't accept that you have, you're doomed for your life and you have to just live with your pain rest of your life. So let me introduce you something special. It's called Fibro Yoga Bundle. I have meticulously designed a yoga flow after working with the several fibro clients with a unique journey in mind and acknowledge that not two fibromyalgia stories are the same. So picture this, if you wake up feeling dreadful, but by mid morning, you found a bit of relief. Now you already, you are ready to take on the day and only to hit another low in the afternoon. So it's frustrating, right? But with the fibro yoga bundle, there is a there, there is a there are different levels in there. So if you feel like you have a more energy, you can do level three. And if you feel like you are low energy and fatigued, you can do level one. Or there is a special flow for sleep to improve your sleep and also to manage your flare-ups. So check it out. Link is in the descriptions below. And let me know what do you think? What are any of these myths were surprising to you? Have you found any strategies that can help you to manage your fibromyalgia symptoms? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comment below. And if you know someone who is who, who can benefit from this uh, myth and for any, any fibromyalgia help, don't hesitate to share this video. Together we can spread the awareness and foster a community for a support and understanding. 
Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you are not alone in this journey. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Meantime, take care, stay strong. I will see you in the next video.